Good afternoon, guys. So it's around half one, maybe even two. Um, and I'm about to prepare iftar. So for iftar today, I'm going to make a chicken korma. Okay, I'm going to use these pastes, which I've never used before. So I'm hoping they end up being a hit because who wants to mess up iftar? Not me. Um, See, so yeah, I've got the chicken that's defrosted and I'm going to marinate it first with um, chicken tikka, cook it and then I'll add it to the curry uh, korma sauce and hopefully that should be nice and we'll have that with um, some naan bread and I also want to make some onion bhajis. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Madeleine um, and I have decided to vlog every single day in a Ramadan. Well, I've vlogged every single day up until now. I might end up having a break um, once or twice um, later on, who knows. So yeah, if you love Ramadan vlogs, then be sure to subscribe because I have been like pretty consistent. So today is Friday, Jamal Mubarak. It's day 13 of fasting, I believe. And yeah, I've taken the day quite easy. Um, I woke up, made the kids breakfast, did a lot of laundry, dried it up, cleaned the kitchen, um, had my Friday shower, prayed the hood, I managed to read to little calf. If you're wondering why is it so quiet, it's because Qasim's not here. Um, my sister-in-law Lena took him out to watch Supersonic 2, um, which is, yeah, amazing because he's been asking to watch it and this has come at, you know, good time. So he's absolutely buzzing. Shout out to my sister-in-law for taking him out. Um, yeah, so today's Good Friday. Um, yes, he's not at work, but he's ended up at work. I think it's just like clearing up and things like that. I've got my camera and monitor on. So someone woke up from a nap. <laughs> she does not look happy. You had a quick nap. It's okay. I thought, let me wait. She woke up and she started crying and I thought, you know what, let me just wait. She might just fall back to sleep. And after like a few minutes of crying, I was like, no, 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 no. She's definitely awake. So she's, yeah, she's a bit upset now. It's okay, mommy. I've just got some sweet potato in the air fryer. So I'm going to give her some of that. And then give her some um, for Aisha uh, pouch. I think I might give her the salmon and sweet potato. And so, yeah, I'm going to give you some dinner. And fill you up. Uh, while she was napping, I didn't get much done because she didn't really nap for very long. But I marinated the breast chicken. Let me tell you, the tikka marinade smells so good. So I'm thinking now to pop this in the George Foreman grill or the air fryer. I don't know. But it smells so good. Now I just diced up some um, onions for the onion bhajis and then, well, sliced and then diced up some onions for the korma curry and that's it that's all i managed and then i said of course we'll go so now we're gonna have to do it while you're here right i'll pop you down on the floor while you eat oh my gosh the onions are so strong they're making my eyes water why are they still making my eyes water i think it's because i picked it up and i placed it right to my nose let's get some air in so let me tell you about asia and her little journey of trying to learn how to crawl because it's the cutest thing ever. I've been watching her all week and I just love it. Um, so she doesn't know how to like move her knees like this in order to like move forwards. She knows how to push herself back if she wants to move backwards, but when it comes to like moving forwards, she really struggles. So what she does, she kind of hops and it's the cutest thing ever. She looks like a bunny uh, rabbit. So cute. I think she's still a little bit upset. <laughs> because of like, her crying a little bit. Mama would never hate you. I just wanted to see if you could like self-soothe and get yourself back to sleep. Yeah? Mwah. So no sabbing today. It's just me and you. No cousin. Baba's at work. It's just me and you. The house is just like really quiet. While well, I'm waiting for the sweet potatoes to cook, Let's do one of these. Feels a bit strange not doing it with Sabrine. Do you encourage others or is jealousy finding a root within you? What? Do you encourage others? Okay. 
No, 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 no. Okay, jealousy. It's just, no, there's no room in my book for jealousy. I think jealousy is such an evil thing. Whenever you find yourself kind of feeling jealous of someone else, just, just remind yourselves of the blessings that you have. I hate it. I think jealousy damages so many relationships. I'm a massive hype girl. I will hype up anyone. <laughs> I will support anyone. If you want to be happy, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous of others. Um, don't focus so much on others. Be happy what other people you know, have achieved in life. And everyone's worthy of happiness. Everyone's worthy of succeeding in life. We can all win, you know. There's more than one seat on the winner's table. So I don't ever feel like jealousy should ever you know, be entertained. As soon as you like catch yourself in that moment of just being envious or jealous, snap out of it. Because honestly, your time will come um, and you will have tons of blessings and there's probably things that you want that other people have. And other people will probably want things that you have that they don't have. Um, but yeah, I think jealousy is so evil. The only thing you can do is just like, you know, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Don't be a jealous person. No, 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 no. Don't be so jealous. No, 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 no. It brings out the worst in people. So unhealthy. Don't, don't ever let it consume you. Because you will end up being a bitter person. And we ain't about that life. No, 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 no. We don't talk about boo. No, no, no. Four minutes till the sweet potatoes are ready. That's it. I'm not going to do any more because it doesn't feel right doing it without Sabrine. So I'm going to have to wait until she comes back. Don't get me wrong. There might have been times where I've, I've felt it, but I've always like reminded myself to like snap out of it and, and I've never like dwelled on it. Um, but ever since I have been young, I have never been that kind of jealous type. Uh, for example, when I was really young, before Sabrina came along, it was me and my four brothers, and I remember my brothers got to do so many things that I weren't allowed to do. Um, they would, you know, they could go out and play whenever they wanted. They could go swimming, and I remember they got like bikes and things like that. Um, and yeah, I was never like bitter about it. I was really happy for them. I was happy to see that they were happy. I would just. I'd always be really sad that I couldn't also have a bit of that happiness or be happy with them and join them. But I never felt like, oh, they're not worthy. If I'm not worthy, then they're not worthy. Yeah. So, yeah. But honestly, if I ever find anyone's a jealous type, I'm like, stay away from them. Stay away from that energy because it's so toxic. I can't stand jealous people. Nope. Can't do it. It's like an illness. It's not good for your soul. Stay away from it, guys. This was Gleisen's bib. Ta -da! Yeah, you know, it's food time. It's food time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dinner time. Dinner time. Yeah. Let's get some dinner. Guys, look how lightweight the high chair is. Well, the low chair is so lightweight. Um, I left it upstairs in the bathroom because today when I had a shower, um, I took Asia in with me and I just left her in her little chair with some toys and she just sat there and chilled. And I was able to wash my hair properly without rushing. So that's easy for her to eat. Like that. I need it to cool down though first. Okay, she's hungry, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her one of these food pouches. So she'll eat that and then I'll give her two slices or two wedges of sweet potato. Which one we're gonna have today? Let's do this. Salmon and sweet potato mash. Well, guys, I am so obsessed with these food pouches. I think they are so amazing and I'm just like, why did I not use them with Qasim? With Qasim, I was so worried about spices and like cooking with meat and chicken. I mean, I did chicken, but that's it. I was just really, I don't know. I just found it really intimidating. And I like that, that these guys use all kinds of like meat and fish and they use spices. I mean, 
I just wish Kazem had this kind of diet. He only ate vegetables. That's it. Pureed vegetables. Because I was too nervous to use anything else. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this this one. I can't really taste it because I'm fasting, but it doesn't smell as like good as the others. But we'll see how Essie finds it. First impressions, bismillah. Oh, was that hot? Nice. I think so. She's opened up her mouth. She doesn't like something. She like buttons her mouth closed and refuses to have any more. Good. Yeah, let's have some more. So she finished all of her salmon and sweet potato mash. Um, and now she's having some sweet potato. Yeah, it's going to get real messy. The baby lead weaning is messy, but it's okay. It'll help her develop her fine motor skills and her eye hand coordination. They also find it really satisfying in terms of like sensory. Um, so don't be shy to let your baby feed themselves. All these bits here are all the bits that she spat out. Um, so she's really good at like identifying if a piece of food is too big. She'll just spit it out. Uh, like natural instinct will kick in and it will do that. If she doesn't spit it out, it means that she, yeah, she took the right amount and she's she's consumed it. She's on to the next piece now. Go on, get it, get it, get it, Asia. Yeah. Oh. What is it? Let's see. This looks like a big piece. I remember, I remember with Rasim, I would be like freaking out at this point. But I don't feel like that this time around. I don't know if it's just because I've got the experience. Or, yeah, because I know gagging and choking are good signs. It's when they go quiet when you should worry. When they're quiet and they're like, there's no sound being made. That's when you should worry. So I'm just currently cooking the onion bhajis and a chicken tikka um, ready to be added to the curry sauce which I still need to make but I just wanted to jump on because I've realised something so I grilled the first batch of chicken in the Georgia Foreman grill and the chicken ended up looking like this and can you see all these like black marks it's not burnt like it doesn't taste burnt when I do taste it like when I've done it in the past and I've tasted it it doesn't taste burnt but it looks very much burnt and that really annoys me so I thought you know with the second batch of chicken I'm going to try it in the air fryer and already it's looking so much nicer beautiful in the air fryer so you know what i think i might just ditch my george foreman grill or maybe i might keep it for paninis Ooh. Uh oh and just like that i'm craving a cheesy tuna panini oh I know, I know. Hi guys. So, Asya joined us for iftar. Um, yeah, she wouldn't go down. I did try a few times, but no, she was adamant that she was going to join us. Hey, okay. I'm going to go and pray Maghrib now, and then I'm going to try and put her down again. 
and hopefully she will go down because she hasn't had very much sleep hey mommy i think she might be teething um but yeah as always thank you so much for watching and inshallah i will catch you all soon